I'm Jane. And I'm Amanda. Welcome Good to Come Browse Me. <laughs> Hello, episode 10. This is the last oh. episode of series three. With more episodes to come in the future. Yes. <laughs> it's bittersweet today. <laughs> bittersweet. I know, it's such good fun doing these. Um, so episode 10, series three, and we're going to talk about um, moving house. Whether you're selling a home, buying a home, want to move, don't know where to move, house, housey stuff. Location, location, location. <laughs> That's a whole new series. <laughs> dowsing, dowsing, dowsing. Yeah, it doesn't work the same, does it, as Dows with me? <laughs> we can't nick their title. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so moving moving house. If somebody's selling a house, um, I think we were chatting about this. We were chatting about this before, weren't we? And I've had a few people, a few friends of mine that have rung up and said, I'm trying to sell my house. It is not budging. And they've said, can you douse for me? So I was like, yeah, all right. So we've doused and we've gone, right, okay. Is there a reason why this house isn't selling? As so I did it for a friend of mine, um, his house wasn't selling and there were some blocks. So we cleared the blocks. Sometimes it's blocks for the person because there's things that they need to clear for themselves. Um, in this particular case, it was energetic, energetic blocks within the house. And I think I worked out which part. So it's like, so you would douse and say, okay, is it upstairs? Is it downstairs? Um, is it in this room? So once you've got it, I mean, it could be upstairs and downstairs. So it's just a case of working through in the logical order. That's my logical brain of, um, but it's it's working through in a logical order. Is it in this room? Is it in this room? Is it in this room? And then sort of working through um is, is it something that needs to be cleared? Do I need to locate it? And if you don't need to locate it, you can just clear it. But if you do need to locate it, then obviously you need to do a bit more fact finding. Is it within the structure of the property? Is it within the fixture and fittings? Is it within movable furniture? And so just clearing the blocks. And I think it was a couple of days later and he managed to get from no viewings, he'd managed to get about three or four viewings through. And so it's like it shifted and then obviously... He, he sold it quite quickly after that. So if there is, if people are selling houses, sometimes it can just, and you're not getting any viewing, sometimes it can just be there is a block, the, the, you know, there is a block for that. Um, or likewise, if you want to move house, but you don't know where to move to, I mean, you can use dowsing for that, Jane, can't you? It's, it's, it's yeah, I think, again. Yeah, yeah. I'd start map dowsing and then start going down. Right move. Uh, there are other channels available for house moving and agents. <laughs> That's a good one because you do get a good list, a good list to douse from then, don't you? And you can also you can also douse those um you know the requirements that you that you want if you want to have a garden and garage detached blah 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 but you can douse through that as well so you can get exactly I mean you might think that you want a certain type of house but actually is it what you need and sometimes if you're just looking at one particular property like you said detached if you start to look at terraced or semi-detached as well you might find your dream home is not what you expected it to be it's but it will be better above and beyond because it's always above and beyond um but yeah you can sort of find out and like you said with the right move you can scroll down you can look at the details you can go yeah I like that I like that you put the little love hearts on and you've got yourself a short list once you've got your short list you can then douse through that and go is this worth me viewing and it's again like we talked about life in its last episode it's is this a good use of my life and it's to go and view a property Sometimes you might get a yes, but it's not the property for you. It's just that go by viewing that property, it's given you another piece of the jigsaw to like, oh, actually that house had that. Now I've seen it. I really want that. So then you might need to go and adjust your, your list and, and change it. But every time you douse through the list to see which ones you need to view, there's a reason. And then you you find your you'll find yours. And and you know, don't you? You know when it's the right one. 
the right one. I think I was going to say, you know, the the kind of deviceless dowsing when you walk into a property and that emotional response that you get as you walk in. Because I I don't know, speaking for myself, if I'd be very comfortable walking into someone's house with my dowsing rod. <laughs> You might freak the estate agent and the person that lives there out <laughs> if they're not expecting it. Um, <clears throat> I'd maybe use my pendulum. Yeah, I wouldn't maybe walk in with my dowsing rod. But there is that whole thing of um, energy. And so, you know, if there's a bot, but also I, I find that when, when you were saying about um, moving the blocks for other people so they can start selling the house when we've had a whole load of um, work done on our property I've had to actually clear the energy in the house because I've had all these tradespeople coming in and they're all bringing their stuff with them and you know sometimes ah, uh, it was oh arguments and road rage it comes yeah in I mean a cu couple of years ago I had some carpet fitters and blimey the energy that was coming off them it was like so the next time I had some carpets fitted I said to the um chap I don't want those same fitters in I said and he was like look at me and I went I said I couldn't but their energy I just they were like they're a bit sort of like Ugh. and it was I was just like this is my home and my home I like it to be tranquil and I you know and so they really affected the energy and it took me a little bit of a while through dowsing and various other energy clearing techniques to get it back to so it felt like home again and didn't it was like an invasion an invasion like, yeah I was gonna say it's, yeah it sounds like that and I guess you know some houses that don't sell it's almost like that energy is um is stuck or that there, there's a there's a reason or maybe it's because the house doesn't want you to move I know that sounds a bit weird, but I remember uh, years ago um, when I put my I had a little house up in the Midlands. And when I put that on the market, as I walked down the stairs, um, there was like really unusual smells of furniture polish. Well, as you know, Amanda, I don't do house cleaning unless I'm going on holiday. And so it's nice and clean when I come back or if someone's coming to visit. But, yeah, there was this smell of like beeswax furniture polish. And it was kind of. I just felt the house was trying to tell me, you know, maybe I need to do some cleaning. So it did sell eventually, but it took a while because it, it, it the energy again didn't feel right. But I didn't know enough about dowsing to understand what was going on. All I knew was, was the house was kind of giving me a sign, if you like. Um, so that must be, I must have been deviceless dowsing when I think of it now. Yeah, and it's it's, it's, that, it's that intuition again, isn't it? And it's that that gut feeling, um, listening to your 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 little voice that says something something's not right here. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, but you are right. When you walk into a house, you tend to feel you tend to feel um, whether it's right or not. I know I've, I'm trying to think how many now, but probably I've moved nineteen times. So I think <laughs> various places around country well around the globe um but I've, yeah so i i probably i would say a good six of those i've actually just walked through the door and gone yeah this is it without seeing the rest of it um but then you need to go around the rest of it to confirm it has actually got you know there is an upstairs <laughs> it's not just a void um but yeah so but you sort of you've and you sort of by walking into it you've got out of your car and you just go in and it's like yeah um this is it this is it and I think you, you get that feeling but when you're moving house and especially I think depending on the reasons why you move if it's your choice to move I've had a few where it hasn't been my choice to move because of um the, you know the people that I was with they'd made life choices and decisions that didn't involve me um and when that's changed and then you've got to you've either got to get out of a house that's a whole different energy and then you I mean, it's different, I suppose, for renting and things, but still, you still need to to look at location wise. Um, I, I've doused when I um, I've doused when I everything just like stopped one day, and I doused to see, okay, do I? I was in Scotland, and I was like, do I stay in Scotland or where do I? And I got a no, so it's like, right, okay, where am I going to go to? And so as I was going down the map, 
um, this is where I ended up. I ended up where where the Dows and said, and I've been here for like five years now. So the Dows in you know it, it sort of led me to feel comfortable in the decisions I was making because I, it was as a consequence of somebody else's actions that I had no control over and had no information about. So it was just like, okay, I've got to. This is what's gone on. I now need to make this choice. But if 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 a relationship breaks down and things and something happens or life events, that was life events as well, um, then I think it's you've got that emotional attachment still to a place because you don't actually want to leave. So you don't actually want to go. And so it's about healing yourself, isn't it, before you do move on? Um yeah, and I guess as well that kind of the same thing uh, with furniture. When you're when you when you you know it holds that emotional charge, some furniture, and so it holds that kind of thing. And then is that going to work in a new house? And it you know yeah. you might take furniture with you, and then think when it's there, oh blimey, you can really cut down on moving costs. Actually, can't you? Can you just well, down yeah. it? Well, I, I I've done that as well, and that was a big thing to do. Is like okay, I've I. I'd ordered a truck to to come and take all my furniture away. When the truck came and I was in a very tight like time schedule, I, I literally had to be out. Um, and when the truck came, it wasn't the truck I'd ordered. It was supposed to be a big Luton truck and I would have had enough room for all of my furniture. And it 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 wasn't. It was a large transit van. I was like, this ain't going to fit. So I then had to decide very, very quickly what to take and what to go. And it was a case of dowsing. Does that go? No. Okay. Everything went out to the garden and somebody came and took it. And I think they took it to a recycle centre where somebody else would just get it. But it was a case of going down all the furniture. So you can, but yeah, if, if, you, if you're not in that situation where you're up against time and you have to like, right, what, what am I going to do? Um, you know, before you move house, you can actually go around everything. Are you coming with me? Are you coming with me? Are you coming with me? And all the things that are not coming with you, you can then, so if it's like for my sofa, I think my sofa's on its way out anyway. Sorry, sofa. Um, And so you, I think it would be a case of, are you coming with me? And if you get a no, and then you can say, okay, so what shall I do with you? Is it recycled? Shall I sell you? And then you can just, it just really helps with all that preparation beforehand. Um, so that when it comes to moving day, it's not, you know, everything's, you've got what you need. And when you get to the other end, you're unpacking things that are staying. Because um, it's a bit like Aladdin's cave, isn't it? You you pack to move house. And when you've actually packed, un, when you move house and you move those boxes, you're unpacking and you're like, what is this? Or you'll have those boxes that stay. I've never unpacked them for 10 years, but I've moved them from about six houses and I don't even know what are in those boxes. And then one day you have a look and it's like, <laughs> what's this? Don't even remember God. I don't even remember these things. <laughs> I think it's normal. I think it's normal I've, procedure. I've got a few of those boxes that are up in the attic that I just kept moving. Because you just move them. You sort got... of know what's in them, but it's like you just keep moving them around. I've got some curtains that just haven't been up in any house where they just moved with me. But they might fit a window one day. <laughs> but they might not. <laughs> Dow, Dow your curtains. Do I need to hang on to them? The I, I, <laughs> I am thinking about as well. It's just taking me back to, I can't remember what series it was in when we were talking about emails. <laughs> and, and, and I'm just thinking, oh no, Jane, you need to you need to go and sort those boxes out <laughs> I did do my emails so you know I just <laughs> want to assure all our viewers that my emails are in a much better state than they were I haven't got thousands and thousands going back like 20 years I, I am more up to date um, but I have got boxes going back 20 years with stuff in <laughs> <laughs> well you do you get those boxes and you just move them and then you when you move to your new house you think oh I'm not unpacking that yet because I sort of know what's in it and then it gets put away and then by the time you've well you don't even think about it because the next time you think about it you're moving again you think oh yeah I didn't open that box and then you just <laughs> move it <laughs> moving it around but what I will have is probably some vintage lampshades <laughs> or something in there <laughs> So yeah, you could you can you could douse and say, is there anything in that box I need? 
that'd be actually that'd be quite an interesting one to do is get the box or a box of things that you haven't this is for people, not just you, Jane, but for anybody who's got a box that's lurking that you haven't been in that's moved with you 25 times. Get the box and douse over it. Is there anything in there that I should keep? And if you get a no, then it'd be interesting to see as you open it and then douse each item to see to see what you uh, what you get. Yeah, I've got a I've got a box actually that's come down from the loft and it it's sitting out in the corridor at the moment. It's full of these old videos. Do you remember those? <laughs> yeah, no, I think I've got a video player in a box up in the loft. So I need to get it down to put the videos in. And then I'm just listening to you thinking, actually, I just need to douse to see if there's anything on the videos that I want to keep or watch. And then I'm thinking, what am I going to do with it anyway? <laughs> but that's what happened. I think you know and I know you've done a lot of work in the past with um hoarding disorders and things but it is yeah. it is that when you when you move house um you do you know it's it's that kind of I I certainly have this thing oh I'll I'll put it there for now or I'll keep it for later it when is it ever coming useful when does it ever come useful? how many kitchen gadgets can one woman have <laughs> And it's and, and, and I, 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 I've never used them. They're still in. A, I've got a, a baking cupboard with like tray baking trays of. I've never made a muffin in my life. <laughs> but that's complicated washing up to me. Anything that's bake, baking gadgets, I've got a bowl and a spoon, and I've got the basics. But anything other than that for me, just complicated washing up. I don't like complicated washing up, and that to me is no. It's not going to give me any sort. <laughs> I love that complicated washing up. Yeah, if it Get looks like washer. complicated washing up, <laughs> it's not worth using it for the outcome of the aftermath of the washing up that you're going to get from it. Those things that you can't get in and clean, and then suddenly you spent three hours trying to clean something that you could have gone to the shop and bought for 50p. So I guess it also, with to do with house moving things, it's about your kitchen cupboards. Because I know you're saying recently you um, tidied out your your. <laughs> Spice cupboard. <laughs> Spice cupboard. What a revelation that was. Surprised it didn't walk out on its own, some of the stuff. And I clean my spice cupboard out thinking, oh, um, I've done this recently. This will probably all be fine. The earliest thing I found was 2019. That wasn't recent. See, when it was locked down, I didn't have that luxury of cleaning and decluttering everything. I just carried on. And um, so, yeah, I, I'm sort of still doing that now. Where lots of people did you like, use, did you use dowsing though, Amanda, when you did the when you I did got the store everything cupboard? out of the cupboard and cleaned it, and then I doused. No, actually, I looked at the dates first because if they're out of date, it wasn't even an option. And then I just doused. He's staying, he's staying, he's staying, he's staying, and just doused. So yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, they were so out of date. It wasn't. If it was like a couple of months, I I would have doused to say, is this still okay to use? But no, these these were way out. These are stuff that I didn't even, yeah. So now I'm down to four herbs. <laughs> that makes it interesting. Uncomplicated cooking. <laughs> I've now got, what have I got now? I've now got turmeric, garlic pepper, and Cajun spice, and another. I do use garlic pepper quite a lot in, in cooking. That seems to be my, oh, um, Italian herbs. So that's, that's the only spot else went. <laughs> so that cupboard's pretty empty now. It's like Billy no mates in there. <laughs> but now you have space. And so dowsing can give you space in your home. So it's like um, we recently bought a new chair. So we had a shifty round in our in our sitting room and we had a um a table. <laughs> We we used to have a well, it was it's a table I've had for years so it's kind of come from house to house, but it kind of takes up quite a bit of big space you know like but actually we realised we weren't really using it so we took the base off and we shoved it in the loft, and we had some friends <laughs> that came for a drink recently, and they'd got nowhere to put their drinks. <laughs> we hadn't thought that through, but it's just like yeah sometimes the way that you live can be a way of um removing furniture so actually we've got this big space in our in the middle of the room now because we haven't got a coffee table taking up that 
that space. But when we needed it, we didn't have it. But the amount of times that we'd have used it, and I guess I could have just doused, but I didn't. I decided to, oh, this table, we don't need it. Put it put it away. And then, oh, I hadn't thought that one through. But then actually, logistically, we could have used other things. And we did. I, I was quite resourceful. You know, a, um, a footstool with a couple of table mats on it. That suddenly becomes a table. <laughs> That's nice and good use, useful and beautiful. <laughs> but I think it's that thing where, when it's your home, sometimes we know we. I, I know both of us dows daily for lots of things. But when it's your home, you can really um, you can test out without moving the furniture whether something's going to fit somewhere or whether that would work better in a different room. Or I mean, I do it with books. I've got you know I. I've got hundreds of books and so I go every so often I have a bit of a de-junk um, and I just hold my hand up by the bookcase and usually with a rod or pendulum and then I'll say are there any books in here I need to get rid of so I'm getting a no so that's good <laughs> don't need to do that and I do the same with my wardrobe as well um, yeah. and then I do what you do put them in um uh, in a bin liner or whatever ready to go either to charity recycle or rubbish and then I douse it the next day just to double check is there yeah, anything good in here that I need to keep yeah. yeah yeah just want you've sleep slept on it just to double double check it that's the human the dows will give us that that's our humanness going do I really want to part with that I think I think what you mentioned about the hoarders as well, when I've worked with some hoarders, they've not only got their own stuff in the house, they're trying to sell their their house. They've not only got their own stuff, but they've also inherited people's. And then when you've inherited other people's stuff, there's that guilt around, well, it's 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 not my, it's probably because it doesn't feel like yours, but what can I do? So dowsing through that furniture, is this, you know, you know, is it good? And if you have, if it's is it good to let go of this now? But if there is guilt or upset or anything around it, that's just highlighting that you still need to process something around the grief. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's um, lots and lots of things can get stuck in the house in the like I say from people coming in things just yeah every every day things. So if you're selling a home, get your rods out. If you want, to, if you don't know where you want to move, get your rods out. Get your pendulum out. <laughs> Moving home, buying home, renting. Whatever it is, where shall I go to? Um, yeah, it's a good it's a good way of um, and also like I said, decluttering before you move. It's taking with you what needs to move, and it saves your job further down the line. But um, yeah, share with us your moving stories. Have you already done this? Maybe maybe you already doused to see where you where you're living now. So yeah, share, like, and subscribe. Share along with us any comments. And this is the end of our chapter to 10, isn't it? Chapter to 10, chapter in my book. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 10. It is, but I think it'd be really nice that if we can have some comments from you in the chat to see what you'd like us to cover in series four, because we are planning to do a series four. We love doing this. We hope that you love watching this and engaging with everything that is dowsing because we have a lot of fun. They are unscripted, unedited, and we always have lots of laughter. <laughs> So yes, comments for what you'd like for series four, that would be amazing. And uh, to the end, celebrating the end, cheers of series three and on to series four. Hooray! See you then. Yay. Happy dowsing. Happy dowsing. <laughs>